all of my pinguinos. All right, so today we have a unboxing to do. Um, it is the Wizarding Trunk quarterly subscription box for the month of May. Um, I think it's like $75, something like that, 75 and some change. Um, but this box is the quarterly one, so it's only, it's like every four months is when you get it. So, I paid for it back in February, got it today. So let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Don't mind Clarice here, she's hanging out with us today, so... Just say hi, Clarice, because she's probably going away anytime soon, so. But, all right, so we got our handy dandy knife here. We're just gonna slit this tape open on each side here. Close this up. Maybe we can do it, okay, there we go. So let's see what we got here. So, we've got, let's see anything. this right here so a lot of goody good bits in here this is probably the cheat sheet of what you get in the box so we'll look at that later all right so ooh, I'm excited because I mean obviously I love penguins as you can see but I'm also a big Harry Potter fan um I've got like a I don't know if you can see it. I just got this done the other day. It's my Harry Potter inspired, well it's not really inspired, but kind of inspired tattoo with penguins and Harry Potter and my kids all mixed into one. So it's an original Heather tattoo because it's me all into one. So I do have some Harry Potter things back in my collection of penguin stuff too. So. I know you're probably like, bitch, just shut up and get to the point. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So first things first, we have aww, some little earrings, like the, um, the radish earrings that Luna wears all the time. I can't wear these because I have gauges in my ears, but I do have a four-year-old. And she would probably love these because they like Harry Potter too. So, I love that. those are so cute. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh, what is this? This is a candle. Ooh, I'm excited. What? This is from Laurel Mountain Candle Company. LaurelMountainCandles.com is where you can get this one. But this is expect pineapple mango scented. Oh, that smells good. Like, I'm more of like a lavender vanilla person. Like, that's what my house was like all the time because I use wax warmers and candles. But this, this does smell really good. I like that. Ooh. Let's see what else we have here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Now, I do believe this is actually a Luna inspired box because it was the exceptionally ordinary or ex exponential I can't I have an issue saying that word I have my whole life so yes but anyway I do believe this is a Luna inspired type box for her just because you know the radish earrings and this one is the exceptionally ordinary or ex Y'all know Harry Potter, you know what I'm trying to say, but that's what the the candle is called. But it's pineapple mango scented, so it smells really good. But let's get back to this. This is oh, it's her shoes that get lost and they she finds them at the end of the movie and they're hanging. Yeah, well, movie book, same thing. I I've watched movies millions of times and I've read the books millions of times so but yeah it's her shoes that get lost and she tries to find them all right let's see what else we have in here her wand this is luna's wand her original wand 
before, um, I think it was in the what, Deathly Hallows, yes, where she gets a new wand. This is not the new one. This is the old original wand that she uses. And it's got like the little acorns and leaves and stuff on it, which is pretty awesome because I like her new wand, but I really love the old one. And you don't really see these this one much. So, yeah, I'm excited for that one because, yes. Let's see what else we have here. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, no freaking, oh my goodness. I'm excited about this one. Let me open it for you. This, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. See how Clarice comes out there when I get excited. I'm like, oh, and she's like, hello. So, anyway, this is a hat, but it's like the lion hat that she wears when Gryffindor plays Quidditch because, you know, she's not a part of the Gryffindor house, but when she plays it. She's got like her little lion headdress on. Oh my god, I am so excited. I will be wearing, I mean, winter's over with, but I live in Michigan, so it could be snowing tomorrow up here, so who knows. But this, I will be wearing a lot. I love this, I'm so excited. Ooh. All right. Ooh, we've got a pen. Let's see. Oh. It's Luna with her Patronus rabbit here. And then the lion, but see? Yeah. But yes, it's the Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. I don't know the difference between hard enamel and soft enamel, to be honest, because I just don't. But I mean, it's sturdy. It's got two little clasps behind it there. Wait a minute. I don't know. I thought maybe this was like a certain shape of an outline of something, but it looks like a duck to me, but what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? But this is awesome. Oh, and like the eyeball of the rabbit, I don't know if you can see it there. It's a blue. It's like an actual like little gem thing, so it's like sticking up above. Like you can run your finger across it and feel it, but it's awesome. I love that back in its little, little baggy bag here. Come on, how do I get it in? Jesus. Alright. Some wiggly worms here. We've got this. So let's open it and see. If I don't open it upside down, I can read it. I think it's like a pin, um, like a banner thing you can put your pins and stuff on. It's got a neat little design on it and everything and look it's got a bunch of different friends and stuff like that I honestly think like in the book I think like when you're reading the book and I do believe it's in the Deathly Hallows where they go to Luna's dad's house after Luna had already been kidnapped and stuff and they uh go up to her room and they see like a mural thing on her wall or her ceiling or something I think maybe that's what this is designed after is that in her bedroom at her house. I could be 100% wrong, but I do believe that that's what this might have been like kind of designed after. So, roll that puppy up. Let's see what else we got in here. We have a box. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wiggly worms, these little wiggly, wormy cardboard thingamaboppers all over. Let's see here. It's pink, 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 pink. Some tissue paper. That's something here out of the way. Aww. Put that back there with my penguin stuff. It's the um, plants 
and it says keep off because at Luna's house they have like the original plums and there's like the big sign that says please keep off the original plums and I so with this this is kind of neat I like this you know like this little knickknack I could put back there with my penguin stuff or I have another little off to the side here that you can't see but you can yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to put that up there I like this neat what else what else what else what else what else all right we got last on the little box here I see something in there that I'm kind of excited about Wait, no, we'll just do the box. I already got it in my hands. I think we'll do that one next. Ooh, this one's purple, which I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. I'm a big purple, purple color fan. Let's see, let us see, let us see. say this no might be like the basculus the basilisk thing but I don't think so I'm not a hundred maybe it's a unicorn horn but then again I'm not sure I'll have to look at the cheat sheet for this because I'm not sure what this is but it it looks pretty cool it's got like all these ridges and stuff in it but I'm not sure why they would put if it is a basilisk thing why they would put it in Luna's box? Because she didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know. My mind is just going and going. So I think I'm going to have to look at the cheat sheet for this. But this is pretty cool. And I mean, like, if you look at the detailing on that, like, that is awesome. So, I mean, if you guys know what it is, go ahead and leave a comment below before I look at the cheat sheet. But... That is pretty cool. I like that. Probably like it even more if I actually knew what the hell it was. So, Alright, this one. Oh, this is what I was looking at in there. I was like, oh, it's a potion bottle. Gnome Saliva. Look at that. I don't know if you can read it. Like, dang. Maybe, I don't know, I've got like a light back there, so it's not so dark, so you can't really see it, but it's gnome saliva. Dad says gnome saliva has magical properties. It's got a little gnome charm there and a little wax seal right here. That is awesome. I like this. It's a little potion bottle you get in here. Nice, nice, nice. Put that over here. I'm running out of room on my table. I'm doing this on my, on my table here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. We have. I do believe this is that magazine. Oh. Look at this. I mean, come on. I thought maybe it would just be like a cover of like front and back, you know, but no. Games and comics and oh, look at this. How awesome is this? See, this is so awesome. And it just keeps going and going. Spell smells. Oh my god. It even gives you like your horoscopes in here. Do you see that? I'm a Pisces actually right there. I think Luna is too. Yeah, Luna's a Pisces. My Harry Potter calendar that I have over here. I think her birthday is actually February 14th. Mine's the 20th. So pretty darn close. 
But yeah, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Classifieds. I think it's supposed to be like a newspaper, but it's like the newspaper magazine. I think like her dad writes for, writes it or publishes it or edits it or whatever. That is awesome. I love that. All right. So we've got two things left. One of them is a shirt. I'll do the shirt last. And we have this. It's like a key. If I can get it open. Yeah, it looks like a key, but it's got, um, dang it, what are those things called? I'm literally having like a massive brain fart right now. Those animals that pull the carriages and then like you can only see, see them if you've seen death or something like that. Oh my gosh. I can't think of what they are called, no. But yes, that's what, I mean, that is awesome. I love that. And it's pretty heavy. Like, it's durable. That's so cool. I love that. All right, so we are down to the last thing in here, which is a shirt. Make sure I got all the gunky gunk gunks off of them. Um see what this is. You're just as sane as I am. See that? Don't move again. Isn't that awesome? And that's the same creature that's on the key. If I can remember. Oh my god. I see it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look at the the sheet over there because I know I know what these are called but I just can't think of it like I'm having a brain fart I've had my brain's just going like a million miles an hour these past few weeks and it's just been so crazy I can't even think of this the simplest things in my life I can't think of it so but yes and it's so soft like I have on like a regular you know Yes, it says my Patronus is a pike one on it, of course. But like a regular plain Jane t-shirt. And honestly, I don't know if it's because I've worn this a million times and washed it a gajillion times. But this is so, it's a lot softer than like my actual shirt I have on right now. But I like this. I do. It's pretty. And yes, it's a 3X because if you haven't noticed already with Clarice making her pants... I'm a plus size queen, so we had to get the three X, okay? Okay. But anyway, it's cool. I like that. And it's like a shirt that doesn't, it's not too flashy and showy, you know, that's like bright colored and like, bam, I'm here. And it's one of those shirts that like you would actually have to look at and read and not know that it's like quite Harry Potter unless you read it and you see, you know what I mean? It's not like too obviously noticeable all right so that was everything in this box I'm trying to think yeah. I mean I'm not sure how much everything is I'm pretty sure the cheat sheet will say that but I am in love with everything in this box and did I know that it was Lena inspired no not till after I had already paid for it and then like I got like the confirmation and then like when it came out like when it was mailed and all that and I looked at it and I was like I do believe this is Luna is inspired which is pretty awesome because Luna is my favorite character Luna and Neville <laughs> love Neville but Luna's that's my favorite but I'm trying to I've got everything piled on top of the sheet over here and I'm like yeah I'm playing too smart here but, and this is so cool it's the lost list that she makes with all of her stuff that she loses. And this is lost. School cloak, pair of shoes, favorite quill, one spotted sock, one booty of blue ink, or one booty. You know where my mind's at today, jeesh. One bottle <laughs> of blue ink, two school books. Please return before school ends. Isn't that neat? Like a little here. 
All right, I have to get a little, a little super super of water here. Please like my cup. I made it myself. I got one of these Bubba cups from Walmart, and they had a bunch of Harry Potter stickers, and I just kind of stuck them all over my cup and put some like Mod Podge on it, which I think I put a little too much because you know it's kind of here and there, but it still works. I use it all the time. Okay. So, the back of this says, all this be 13 items. Wow. Okay, okay. So, the first item is the magazine. It says, this magazine was created for us as an alternative wizarding news source. It was created for us by Wizardy Workshop. I follow him on YouTube. I do. I do, I do, I do. The skeletal horse key. This key was given to me by, by, by my father when I discovered what these horses symbolize and why I can see them. Now every time I open my school trunk, I think of my mother. Aww. That's so sweet. The pin. It says this pin was designed for us by J.P. I'm going to pronounce this so wrong because I don't know how to pronounce sh crap. JP Mistlecrow TWT exclusive. I have no idea who that is, but I do like that pen. That's the magical plant. Please keep off the magical plant. TWT, the wizarding trunk. Duh, Heather, I'm telling you, I my brain there's just so much going on in there right now so <laughs> don't mind me and my stupidness today okay uh, all right exclusive or explosive horn this is the horn of a very rare creature which is that horn i didn't know what it was but be careful with it, as we have recently been told, it may actually explode. I'm still confused and lost. I... Would you please just tell me what animal it's from? Because I don't know. <laughs> I'm a dork, I know. Okay, the friend's pin banner. So it was a banner, yeah. This banner is a great place to keep all of your pins that represent your friends. It was designed to us by the JP Missile Crow guy again, which I said I do believe that it's like based off of the mural or whatever in Luna's bedroom. The hanging sneakers wooden ornament, which I'm excited about because I have a few Harry Potter ornaments already for like my Christmas tree. I know it's like May, but still, you can't have enough Christmas ornaments. So, the gnome saliva. Father says gnome saliva has magical properties. When I bottled this beautiful blue color, it made me think of school. So, I decided to decorate the bottle with my house colors. This bottle was designed by J.P. Missile Crow. Man, this guy is pretty, like, he must be really crafty and creative because he's designed, like, a lot of this stuff in here. The radish earrings. Well, these may not be the exact earrings. We thought everyone may enjoy a slightly more wearable version. Well, I mean, I can't wear them because I've got half-inch gauges in my ears, but my four-year-old, oh, she just turned five, so can't say four anymore. I gotta say five. Five-year-old would love them. The especially exponentially ordinary candle. I can't pronounce that word for the life of me. This candle smells of pineapple and mango and was created for us by Laurel Mountain Candles, designed by Twillings and Tattings. Hmm. The lion headdress. Who will you be supporting in today's Quidditch match? Hmm. And then the acorn and radish wand. This is a 13.5 inch wand and is made 
from ash with a core of unicorn hair and is decorated with leaves, radishes, and acorns. And this is, it says it's a wizarding trunk exclusive, so I like this. It's pretty awesome. I love this little wand here. And last but not least, we have the Skeletal Horse Key. Or key. I need to learn to read. I'm telling you, 32 when I still... It's the Skeletal Horse Shirt. This shirt was designed for us by the Wizardy Workshop. Well, that's cool. So that's all that's in here. There's no clue on what the next box is, which is pretty awesome. So... It's a surprise for everybody, I guess, until that happens. A little sipper sipper here. This is like actually my first like Harry Potter subscription box. Just kind of kept putting it on, put it off, put it off. And I was like, you know what? Why the hell not? So pretty sure probably didn't go as smoothly as all the other people on YouTube that have like thousands upon thousands and hundreds of maybe a million or so subscribers but oh well <laughs> I don't care so all this talk is going to dry my mouth like what the fuck anyway so that was it with this subscription box so the next box I think comes out <coughs> <coughs> September, I do believe, because it's like a quarterly one, so it's like every four months. They also have a box that you can buy that's a lot cheaper, that's bi-monthly. But I figured, why not do the quarterly one? So, because I think if I was to get one every other month, I might get too much stuff, and I wouldn't know what to do with it. So, I figured, why not just get the one that's every four months, so... That's the one I got, so whenever that one comes in in September, if my noggin remembers, I might do an unboxing with that one too, so. But alright, that is it for today, guys, so until next time, bye! Okay, guys, I'm over here getting ready to put all this stuff away, and it just hit me. They're called Thestrals. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of them before. But yeah, they're called Thestrals. And the more I think of, thought about it, the more I, re I realized that the horn is what was in Luna's house. But it was like, you know, a big horn and stuff in her house. It's in the book, not in the series. But um, I just kept sitting there, I'm like thinking and thinking and thinking. I was like, explode, explode, explode. And then it hit me. That was the big horn that was inside of her house when they went to go visit her dad. Um, so yeah, just figured I'd let you guys know what those were, and then I figured it out, so. I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful day, and, uh, we shall see you later. Bye!